today i am going to cover one of this uh, dioscorea species now this dioscorea is a huge uh, family with hundreds of members and it is uh, spread in uh, large parts of the tropical world then uh, among those hundreds and more are there if someone really goes into the subject and studies uh, searches them for uh, uh for small small differences and all i'm sure there are quite a few of more uh, species and uh, anyway this one what i am showing today is called uh, dioscorea oppositifolia that is these leaves are uh, opposite in the mature plants in the younger ones it's alternative then uh, it is also this uh, dioscorea oppositifolia is also called uh, chinese yam though it's not from china somehow it has got named as chinese yam then uh, in our uh, kannada it's called halli genasu kaad genasu and all that is a uh, village uh, yam forest yam like that and uh, then uh, in uh, sanskrit it is a, it's a described in the classical texts and all of ayurveda it's called uh, sarpakya because this the leaf juice and all is used for some snake bite and poison uh, this uh, scorpion bite and all it seems then uh, it has left to right vine this uh, dioscorea one of the uh, identification method is to uh, find out which direction the leaves are twining when they climb on to some plant they whether it is left to right or right to left so there's one more identifying method for this this uh, dioscorea opposite folia goes from left to right when it twines around then uh, it has this pinkish leaves young tender leaves are very pretty uh hmm, there is one like that it has the sharp uh, tapering edge and uh, tender ones are uh, pink then as uh, the leaves mature it becomes a beautiful green light green and finally it gets this dark color then there's a great deal of to about this uh, plant it's a important one i'll try to cover as much as i can now uh, apart from that pinkish leaves uh then uh, the flowers it has male and female flowers separately and uh, those uh, male flowers uh those uh, flowers are bell shaped the female flowers are bell shaped and the male flowers they come in uh, they hang in bundles big big bunches of them which i am not able to locate right now then uh, uh seeds are uh, seeds are the main identifying factor if you want to because there are so many of them if you can see the seed then uh, you can confirm the identification and uh, seeds are like this uh they are uh three angle membranous capsules i'll show one ah. like that that is you can see the three angles there three angled and then that little membranous kind of thing is there so it's a capsule three angled so this one if you see these hanging uh, bunches of these seeds this type of seeds then winged type of seeds then you know that it is a uh, the same dioscorea opposite folia and uh, 
I think these are the bell shaped uh, female flowers. Anyway, in the Facebook page for of mine, I'm going to all the detailed photos will be there. I'll put it in the underneath in the reference. You can go and have a look. So, and then these pinkish stems also tend to be pinkish. It's quite pretty and beautiful little plant. So, so uh, then uh, it is also host for an important uh, butterfly called uh, water snow flat butterfly. That is the common name. Then in uh, botanical, uh, in that technical term, it's called tagiades. So that is as far as the physical properties of this plant is concerned. Then a uh, little bit I will tell about the, it's a uh, herbal uh, element. Now the, the tubers of this uh, Dioscorea opposite folia are edible. And uh, it can be grown also. It grows up to 2 kgs and in a deep loamy soil it can be cultivated as a nice crop. And uh, the that yam is a flavorful and nutritious and it uh, Uh, it, it has 20% starch, 75% uh, mucilage, then uh, it contains glutamine, amino acids and it's uh, apart from being a uh, food for this uh, tribal people and uh, forest uh, Egypt, countryside and all in the rural areas, of course modern people mostly have forgotten about this, they don't know. But villagers and all know about it, particularly in their Malnad and these areas. Then uh, for it, it is used uh, for poor appetite, chronic indigestion, then uh, uh, asthma, chronic diarrhea. Then a dry cough, uncontrolled urine, diabetes, emotional instability, etc. Many uses are there. Then also it is uh, externally applicated, uh, applied to wounds because it contains allantonin which is a cell proliferant. So it has numerous wonderful uh, chemicals and all which can be studied and uh, exploited for our uh, human benefit. Then... Uh, this one, it is also invasive in many places. It has uh, spread uh, out of its native range. And uh, in a place where there is no competition and uh, it is not a host plant for any butterfly and all such things, it is it can become a kind of a weed. Though some of the other uh, Dioscorias are far more aggressive than this one, this is quite a smaller thing and uh, pretty also. It has great potential as a garden plant. You can climb it on to that uh, some hedges and trees and in the, with, in the hands of a good uh, gardener, it has great potential. So I think I covered good extent about this opposite folia. So I will now wind it up with one last shot of the this beautiful hanging flowers then also if you look carefully you can find it it has climbed on to this uh, this tree and then you can see it hanging in uh, those uh, I don't know if it's clear now it's a bit far anyway it's there hanging all over the those big on the top of these bushes it can grow some 15 to 20 meters and all it can grow in a good location if it has something to climb on to. So that is the ah, and then it can be multiplied from though it has those little air potatoes also which are not that much 
eaten it can be multiplied from them or from seeds also like asexual multiplication as well as uh, from the seeds so it's a good plant and uh, it's worth uh, getting into gardens because it's a uh, pretty also you can see here these leaves are all uh, they have nice formation and and uh, these red ones on top the tender shoots and all are very beautiful so it has great potential as a garden plant as a food crop as well as it's one of our important uh, botanical wealth of our uh, india <laughs>